Hi, I'm Randy Rabney of The Conscious Plate. I'm a chef, a coach, and an expert on teaching people how to eat real food on a regular basis and how to do it easily. So today we're going to make a crunchy Asian chicken salad and the crunch primarily is going to come from our vegetables. We have some nice fresh carrots, we have some nice sweet bell pepper, and the main green that I'm going to be using today is bok choy. Bok choy has a great flavor when it's raw. It's going to add great crunch to our salad and you'll get a different texture from the leaf than you will from its stalk. Now in addition to the bok choy, we'll be adding some arugula for pepperiness and we'll be adding some cilantro. I love to put fresh herbs in a salad. In this particular salad, cilantro works beautifully but if you wanted to, you could also, or instead, add, add mint or maybe some Thai basil. Also, for some additional crunch, we're going to be adding some cashews. And then, of course, we'll be adding our chicken. So I'm going to get started by putting some arugula in the bowl. And to that, I'm adding the leaves of cilantro. I'm going to add the red pepper that I've sliced, julienne. And I'm going to add the carrot, which I just peeled and cut on the bias. Now I'm going to cut the bok choy. So I'm just going to cut off this end piece and then I'm just going to slice it. See how crunchy it is already? You can hear as the knife goes through it. So I'm slicing through the stems and now I'm slicing through the leaves and this is going to be the primary greens in our salad giving us flavor, texture, and crunch. And now it's time to add our chicken. So what I have here is just some chicken breast. And you can use some leftover roasted chicken or a store-bought rotisserie chicken. What I have is chicken breast that I poached yesterday. So I had a chicken breast on the bone and all I did was boil some water. I salted the chicken. I threw in a bay leaf. If you want to, you could put a little soy sauce in the mix since we're making an Asian chicken salad. And I'm simply going to shred this piece of chicken that I've taken off the bone. And I prefer the chicken to be shredded rather than chopped, but if you want to chop it, that's fine too. And as you can see, a small amount of chicken goes a long way in this preparation. If you like more, feel free to use more. I'm more about the vegetables in my salad. And now we're into the bowl with our chicken. And our last ingredient is our cashews. And then it's time to make our dressing. So I'm starting with some organic tamari which is a gluten-free soy sauce. And I'm just going to go with a small amount. It's going to give us a great depth of flavor. It's a strong flavor. It might be stronger than most soy sauce that you're used to. Oftentimes in Asian cooking, you'll find that people use sugar. I prefer not to, so I'm adding a little bit of mirin for the sweetness. If you don't want to use mirin, or if you can't find it, you could use some organic apple juice, or even some fresh orange juice, or maybe a little bit of raw honey. If you are using mirin, be careful. Make sure you find a product that's clean like this one that isn't made with added ingredients like corn syrup. Now next I'm going to add my acid, and I'm actually using two types of acid today. I'm using some brown rice vinegar, which will be nice in this salad. It's a nice, clean, light vinegar. And I'm using an unseasoned rice vinegar. I just want to point that out to you because a lot of vinegars are seasoned to make your sushi rice and they have sugar and other things added to it. Now the other acid I'm using is a piece of fresh lime. I'm just using a little bit of fresh lime juice and that's going to brighten things up and give a little extra flavor. I love the fresh citrus in here. And now I'm adding a little bit of toasted sesame oil. Now this is not my main oil. It's a condiment that's going to give us great flavor. But I'm also going to use some extra virgin olive oil. And when you make a vinaigrette, even this Asian vinaigrette, usually rule of thumb is three to one, three parts oil to one part acid. So I already have a little bit of oil in here. I'm going to use a little bit more. I may do more like a two to one just for this one because I like the acidic quality of this dressing. Usually I like it less acidic for it to feel balanced to me, but in this particular salad, I like to feel more acid. And then I'm just going to give this a quick whisk and I'm going to pour it on my salad and season it with a little bit of salt, unrefined sea salt, and fresh cracked black pepper. I'm going to give this a little toss. I'm going to add a little pinch of sea salt, 
even though the soy sauce or tamari is salty, it's not the same as salt. Salt is a flavor enhancer. I did not go heavily with it. A little bit of black pepper because I like that. And I'm just going to taste again for balance. Yes, I like that. And now it's time to plate our salad. I love all the colors in here. It's so inviting. Look how beautiful that is. Oops. The carrots, the peppers, the different shades of green. It's going to be crunchy. It's going to be flavorful. It's going to be sweet. And we are ready to try it. And now I get to taste it. Sorry. It's very crunchy. I don't know if you can hear that crunch. I love the acid in the dressing. I love the different textures in my mouth. All of that fresh flavor. I'm Randy Rabney of The Conscious Plate, and this is how to make a crunchy Asian chicken salad.